Like with the liberation, we were like, let's write a pop record, you know. Whereas with the betrayed, it was just really f***ing dark and pissed off. Whereas this one, we were like, let's just write songs and see what happens. Lost Prophets is currently headlining the main stage on Warp through August 5th, and the band's latest LP, Weapons, was released this past June. Weapons is the follow-up to the North American release in 2006 titled Liberation Transmission, and it was recorded in North Hollywood at NRG Studios with producer Ken Andrews, who's also worked with A Perfect Circle and Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. It's not the last record that Lost Profits released, however. That honor goes to 2010's Betrayed, which spawned the hit single in the UK, It's Not the End of the World, But I Can See It From Here, which reached number 16 on the official UK chart. We caught up with lead vocalist Ian Watkins of Lost Profits last week at Warp and asked him where they've been when they really haven't gone anywhere. It's kind of weird because to us, We've never been away from ourselves. Americans forget that there are other countries out there. There's a whole world outside of America, you know. The last record didn't come out in America, but, you know, we went platinum in the UK, and we did, you know, tours, just toured it constantly, and it was like, and then on this new record, this is, weirdly, this is our first record on a major label in the UK, because we, all the other ones have been on an indie. It's kind of weird, it's not that, it, like, we'd forgotten or given up on America because like four of the guys live in LA you know what I mean and um, married American girls so they're like we got to America and I'm like well you know yeah cool but if not I, you know what I mean like I love playing in America but I'm not going to lose sleep over it you know what I mean it's kind of but then return it you know when we, when the album when we signed to feel this and stuff and, and the album come out and then coming back you appreciate it more just because it's, it's people coming up after you say, man, I've waited for six years. Why wasn't 2010's Betrayed released here in America? It was the whole like when Rick Rubin came into Columbia and just, fucking just pissed all over it. You know what I mean? And you can, fucking put, you can keep that in there, whatever, whatever, right? We were like, dude, if you're not going to fucking back this you know, record, then don't put it out. And they didn't. So we were like, you, you know what I mean? It's like whatever. Like, he didn't drop us because we were with Coup Prime at the time, and he had a relationship with Coup because they do the Chili Peppers and Metallica, and so he's done all their albums, you know. So he kept us on the label just as like a King to Coup Prime, but didn't want to push us. And then, the, like I said, the record f***ing when like platinum in the UK, gold in Europe, yeah, gold in Japan. It's like it was bonkers, you know. Two days after Warped wraps up, Lost Profits will hit the road for a week-long West Coast tour with teenage girl rockers Cherry Bomb as support. It seems Cherry Bomb is also supporting Lost Profits via transport as well. Lost Profits bus broke down this week on Warped and they've been camping out and sleeping in the front cabin of Cherry Bomb's bus until theirs gets up and running.